To create lettering in Software 7, just right-click on the lettering icon or type the letter A on the keyboard and enter your text in the dialog. You can preview the different selections of alphabets available from digitized fonts by using the drop-down alphabet menu. Once you've selected your font, you can change the height by entering your height in either millimeters or in inches, and it's converted right in the dialog. And say OK to close the dialog box and click on the screen to generate the lettering. I have two ways to edit my lettering. The first is using the reshape object icon. This gives me my control points for each letter, and I can resize the letters independently. I can skew and rotate. I can select my letters and if I hold down the control key I can move my letters up off the baseline. I also now have the ability to edit my text using the break apart option. So in edit I can break my lettering apart and this breaks paragraphs into sentences. Sentences are broken into words and words are broken into the individual letters. I can recolor just by selecting a color chip and independently recolor letters just by selecting them. If I reopen my object properties dialog I can even change the font of individual characters. I can select from open type or true type fonts that are loaded onto my hard drive, even from special graphic fonts. I'm going to select my, my graphic font and apply and OK to close the dialog. Then I can move my letters into place and from simple alphabet create a fun logo.